we turn to our Fox 26 senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico, as we always do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's begin with this first question from Marilyn, who writes, my friend filed a divorce. He went to the clerk's office and was told he needs to file a citation by publication because his wife's whereabouts are not known. How do you file a citation by publication, especially since most newspapers no longer exist? Are there other options for this? Well, Marilyn, there are. Quite frankly, the Texas Supreme Court, who promulgates the rules for this, changed the rules uh, not too long ago for that very reason. Because, in, especially in small towns, you're in, uh, in Austin County and in Belleville, and the Belleville paper's gone. So, what do we do when we have a citation by publication? So, the Supreme Court changed, it's called Rule 106, Alternative Service. You can now, you have to file a motion, a sworn motion that says, This is what I've tried to do to serve him. And now you can serve by any uh, other manners, including electronically, social media, and email. So you can, if you can find his Facebook page or his Instagram, you can post it on that. <laughs> How about that? Um, <laughs> that'd be a what rude awakening, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can also, um, you can also do serve it at his house if you can find out where he lives and serve any person over the age of 16. So there's other ways to do it. Now. You can also, and what I suggest, instead of going through all that trouble, hire a private investigator to do a background search. There's so many databases now. A private investigator can probably find him in about an hour. And, and then you get a good, good address and go serve him. Good luck. Sounds like his wife is trying to duck and dodge those papers. That's right. Somehow. That's so right. He'll find her for sure. <laughs> this next question actually comes from a writer who wants to remain anonymous. It says, quote, our 42-year-old daughter has six kids by at least five different men. She is addicted to meth and has no contact with us in months. The father of her oldest child took him when he was six. The youngest two also live with their dad. Her 12-year-old daughter has been with us since she was about six months old. Her father is not in her life. We have no idea where he is. He makes no effort to contact with her. How do we go about getting custody, and what are my chances of actually gaining this custody? Well... First, I'm terribly sorry you're going through this, and, and God bless you for taking care of your grandkids the way you have been. The, um, you need to file what's called a suit affecting the parent-child relationship, and, to, and you want to seek custody of your grandchild. Your chances are high, in my view, that, that you're going to get this because your daughter has abandoned her child. In Texas, the Texas law says if, you're, if the parent doesn't see, have any contact with the child for six months, that's abandonment under Texas law. Now, in a suit affecting the parent-child relationship, they have to m make every effort to find the father and serve him because he still has rights even though he has abandoned the child. But he has to be served. He has to have a right to be heard. And then, once all that happens, you're probably going to get, get, get custody of your grandchild. But you have to have, a, you have, to have a hearing, you have to have due process. Hire the lawyer of your choice to help you with that. Good luck. All right, our final question here this morning, it comes from Richard who writes, I filed a claim against the USPS in April when my gate was damaged. They denied my claim. I need my gate fixed. I saw the postal worker grab and shake the gate. He shook it so hard to open it, he broke the actuator. The repair cost is just under $600. My gate at this point is still broken, and I don't know what to do. A police report was filed. Well, Richard, you can, you can get this taken care of. You've already uh, filed the claim with the U.S. Postal Service. I don't know if you filed the right claim. Uh, get on the Internet and, and go to the U.S. Postal Service webpage, and there is a Form 95. Er Everything in the government has a number. <laughs> Form 95, claim for damage, injury, and death. And you fill that out, and it's a, it's a two-page form. You fill it out, and you file that. And they should, um, if you do it within two years, they should respond to that. Now, the government in, is slow in responding to all these things. You don't have to file suit on these things as long as you fill this form out correctly and give them all the information they need and you show what the damages are. You said that $600, you should have something to show how you arrived at $600 so that they can arrive at the same amount and they should pay it. I don't think you need to hire a lawyer for this and for $600, I don't know any lawyer that's gonna take a $600 claim. So get that form off the internet, fill it out correctly and refile this thing and it should take care of itself. Good luck.
All right, we always appreciate you, Chris. You bet. So if you want to send us your legal questions, you already know what to do. Head to our website, fox26houston.com. That's where you'll find Chris's segments under the Morning News tab. And as always, for specific information and advice, contact an attorney of your choice.